Let's take chicken noodle soup and change it up a little bit. How about we do Greek lemon chicken pastina soup? I mean, it's still comforting. We're still gonna make fresh homemade chicken stock, chicken broth, and we'll shred the chicken. We'll finish it with lemon and oregano and fresh parsley to really make it pop. And instead of putting spaghetti or noodles in it, we'll put pastina, which is like the most comforting thing ever to me. And let it all cook together at the end. Parmesan cheese, a little feta cheese, pulling it all together, get that lemon, that chicken, that beautifulness all together. I think it's an idea. So for our Holy Trinity, our mirepoix, our start of any soup, carrot, celery, and uh, onion. This soup I am gonna, because I wanna make it a little different, a little savory, a little spicy, I'm gonna add some garlic to it. So we're gonna mince the garlic. And for the veggies, I don't want them too big because if it's too big, then it overtakes the soup. And the pastina is small, so I kind of want this to be a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna go with a small, medium dice. Uh, I can show you all the celery. Let's see. Celery, let's go with. Yeah. Let's go with that size right there, okay? So let's cut up the celery, carrots, and onions and mince or finely chop that garlic, put it all together so we get the pot on and we'll start sauteing that and then we'll add our chicken. Our pot, nice and hot with oil in it. We have our veggies cut up. Sizzle, we're gonna get this sweating before we add our chicken in because we're gonna make our own broth in this pot to be the broth for the soup. So, carrot, celery, and onion, how I usually start off every single soup. So all our veggies have like sweated out. So right now we're gonna add in, I had the half a chicken skinned down right in the center of the pan. And we're gonna cover it, this good old H2O. Oh yeah. Put the lid on, I'm gonna get one more of these. Put the lid on and let it simmer for around 40 minutes. We'll take the chicken out and we'll shred it to put it back in here after we uh, spice it up a little. Covered it with water. Now we're gonna add in some dry oregano and bay leaf. And I added in around half a handful, a half handful, half a tablespoon of salt just to get it cooking because we'll season it later as after it's done. But now we're gonna put the lid on it, stir, and get it simmering to make some beautiful stock. Wow. So this has been going for 45 minutes and our chicken is nice and cooked and super tender. So we're just gonna take it on out without, without it falling apart. We're gonna let it cool on the side. Oh, it's falling apart. Because it's so freaking tender, it's falling apart. So we're gonna let it go on the side. We're gonna add in our fresh parsley. We are gonna add in our pastina. So I'm doing around one, two, three. Remember, pasta expands. Remember, pasta expands. So we're gonna get that at a rolling boil. And the last thing is we gotta juice the lemon. So I gotta get my little juicer thing, hold on. We're gonna get this back up to a simmer, but while it's simmering, juicing three lemons in there, um, we are going to shred the chicken so then we can just add the chicken and oh yeah that was a good lemon okay. and the pastina is going to cook real fast in here so probably not even six to eight minutes if you want to add some spinach or some kale feel free but I'm keeping this really nice and light perfect let me go shred our chicken and then we'll throw it on it. All right, besides salt, we needed a little bit of fresh ground pepper. Um, I'm gonna let this cool. I think this is like the perfect bite of lemon, saltiness from the Parmesan, comfort being chicken and a pasta, the pastina is like childhood. This is like the perfect soup. Look at all those stars. So, um, I'm loving this. If you make it, please tag us. Let us know how it comes out. Share it with us. It's like my biggest thing. And check us out. Follow us on YouTube. We post recipes every week. 
tons of good stuff on there. You can ask questions, interact with me. I love it, I love it, I love it. More than just Instagram. Nailed it.